Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over some general things, mainly like expressions and uh, variable types and different things like that. So it's kind of, kind of just going to be a general uh, overview of different stuff. Uh, we're not going to run anything. We're just going to kind of go over some, look at some, some code. So let's get started. So anytime you assign something, like you do equals something here, like, like here, this is a string. You know, this is a string type. This is a Boolean type. Uh, this is a map type. So Terraform supports, you know, different types, um, you know, string, number, boolean, list, or map. Uh, map you can think of as like a dictionary in Python, um, and so forth. So those are the, the different types you've you've uh, you've probably already seen if you followed this whole series. Um, but but that's that. But let's go over some different things you can do with like expressions. Uh, so I just got some basic examples here. So let's say tags. So you see how we're calling local.baz, you know? So since we have a string, we wanna do like tuts test and then the value of this. To do that, we're using the dollar sign and curly brace, what that's called a string interpolation. So, but so anytime we wanna use a, a variable or some kind of uh, value from, you know, a variable or a local, uh, or a local, as Terraform calls it, we can, we can do it this way instead of that. If we just had, you know, like, uh, hello, and we just wanted the value of this, all we would have to do is local.baz. We wouldn't have to actually wrap it in this the double quotes or anything since we're not having any type of string in this. So we're gonna do it that way. And also you can do, you can do shorthand if else statements so if you're familiar with any programming language, you can think of it as a tyranny uh, or, or shorthand if else. So basically we have local.baz uh, and we have that defined here. We have baz equals to hello. So we're, what we're basically saying here is we're gonna assign foo. If local.baz is equal to AAA, we're gonna set this value as yes. Otherwise, we're going to set the value as no. So since the value is hello here, you know, baz does not equal AAA. So it's not going to hit yes, it's going to hit no. So it's going to output whatever that is right there. So that's a shorthand if else statement um, in, in um, Terraform, kind of like uh, other languages as well, do it similar to this. Python is Python does them uh, slightly different, so keep that in mind. But this is very simple. So you might have like conditions, like maybe if prod or something. Like you might set a production environment variable somewhere, and, and that's what you would determine here. There's also here docs. Here, uh, here docs here, <laughs> here docs, and. The, what here docs are for is you can specify multi-line strings. So if you notice here, I don't have double quotes like we usually do for strings. What I have is this less than, less than, and then some kind of identifier. And then what you do is any side, anything inside of this identifier is what gets the value. So if we had like a paragraph or something we needed to do or, or just multi-line text, so like, Right here, if we try to do like um, set like, or let's let's do t two micro. So for some other reason, we needed to like we were gonna set like t two here and then like try to do that. That wouldn't work. And if we needed to do that for some reason, we would have to do a here doc. And there's two different ways you can do it. Um, so what what this does is if we do it like this, what it's gonna do is this is gonna actually give indentation. So if you do your here doc like this, you want to spec. You actually want to put it your your the initial start of the string snug up against up against your text editor. Else, when you view this, you're gonna get indentation. So if you do that, you'll get indentation. But if you do a here doc like this second this baz here, and you put the hyphen right here after the less than less than, what it'll do is it will start the indentation right here. So you won't actually get indentation. So most of the time you're probably, depending on what you wanna do, you, you, you might wanna use the, the hyphen, um, but maybe not. 
it, it's kind of it, it depends on what you do but as you use it you'll see you'll see the difference if you use it um, and this EOT is just that that's kind of what uh, terraform recommends to use but you could you could theoretically just use foo you just have to make sure that these end these are the same same name so these are both valid all right, another thing you can do is there are things called directives which are which are right here so a directive is like think of if you're familiar with like ansible and the the templating language it's kind of like a templating uh, language itself. Think of it as like a Jinja or whatever you call the An Ansible uh, template and language. J Jinja? Jinja? Yeah. So whatever that is. So you can kind of basically say string and then you have your template right here and then you can do a, you can do a real if statement. You know, just like in any template language. So you have if var.name equals nothing. Echo out that or assign it to that, else fall back to that. You know. So you have that, and then you can also, that's an if statement, so you can also do it inside of like a here doc we have here, where you have a, a for loop. Um, so you can, you can do a directive there as well. And here, what this is doing, you can see this is, this is that, that splat operator that we talked about in a previous video. So this is basically looping through all of the instances right here and echoing out the private IP. So if we come up, you can see how we create two instances here. So 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 that, so that's yeah, exactly. So that's that would be like if we had um, AWS example. So if we were to name this actually AWS example, that would be kind of what the return would be from, the, from this since we have uh, a count of two here. All right. So a couple other things you can you can do some some loops as well. Um, I think we've gone over some of these. So, so you've got the splat operator like we just went over. Then you've got another for loop you can you can use if you needed to. Um, then you can do a for loop. Um, so if you wanted to loop over an object or a map, you can do so like as a key value, like here. So let's say you wanted to you know so here var testing. So we have var testing here, which is a map, default into a map of foo and bar. So what we can do is we can say uppercase K. So the foo would actually be uppercase assigned to the value. So we're basically saying like, all right, let's loop through all this and let's uppercase each key. So now uh, the output would become a list of uppercase at foo and uppercase bar. Then you can also go here and do another loop. You know, this is your key value. And then basically this would only set the, this would set the value. If key is equal to foo, then set the value. So what would happen here is it would only return foo here to the value. It wouldn't return bar because it's saying only if key is equal to foo, return it here. So if you need to use loops, uh, you'll, you'll you'll know you need to use them as you go, and you can uh, see how they work, or you know, play around with them if you need them, and see see how they get. I just kind of wanted to give an overview of ex of some expressions and things you can do. Um, I'm not going to really go into you know running these examples because I think they're you know fairly straightforward if you've used Ansible or Python or any type of programming language before or even bash. Um, so I think, I think those are, they're fairly straightforward, um, but just play around, around with them. If you have any questions, just let me know and I will see you in the next video.